Install the 200 mm non-woven fabric, melt-blown fabric, A 180 mm non-woven fabric roll film according to the current instructions. Then, the swing arm mechanism can be adjusted appropriately according to the film walking angle. According to the video, wrap each film around the guide bar and then through the cardboard. After integrating the three kinds of fabrics, bypass the bottom of the lowest drum. The fabric after passing the roller must be pulled flat and straight to ensure that there is no wrinkles when folding the back edge. Next, pass the fabric through the space between the pressure plate and the hemming plate so that the fabric begins to form hems. Then, continue to pull the fabric back through the first welded knurling wheel. It then goes through the first power traction roller. After coming out of the traction wheel, it passes through the three-fold hemming pre-forming mechanism. Loosen the screw above the side of the hemming pre-forming mechanism to adjust the depth of the pre-forming hemming. After pre-forming, it is inserted into the final folding and shaping mechanism. Loosen the screws on the sheet metal to adjust the width of a single flange and loosen the screws on the aluminum plate to adjust the overall flange width. After the three-fold hemming and shaping, it passes through the second rubber-covered traction wheel. It then will pass through the second welding knurling wheel until it passes through the cutting wheel. The two sides of the cutter mechanism can be adjusted so that the cutter can just cut the fabric. Remember to only adjust it slightly. The adjustment of the welding knurling wheel is based on the gap between the two wires of the ultrasonic die head. The second traction wheel can be adjusted to drive the film without slipping and does not need to be crushed. The first traction mechanism is also adjusted to drive the film roll without slipping. The welding knurling wheel shall be adjusted to the gap between the two wires of the ultrasonic die head. The mechanism here is an anti-static device, which can prevent the formed mask piece from adhering to the sheet metal. Feeding machine nose bridge. Teaching of the installation position and positioning of the coiling material of the feeding machine. Introduce the winding of the nose bar. First, bypass under the guide wheel of the brake mechanism. Then cross the two guide wheels and turn handle. Toggle the handle to open the traction rubber wheel of the nose bridge. Pass the nose bar through all the guide wheels and rubber wheels in turn.
Insert the nose bar into the small hole on the cutter mechanism. End through the hole of the entire assembly. Then directly bring the guide holes on the corner edges of the pressure plate until the bridge of the nose enters the interlayer. Finally, turn the handle to close the rubber traction wheel. Flip Conveyor The mask sheet is removed from the main machine to release the static electricity and then transferred to this table and through the sensor at the bottom to detect incoming material to achieve the flip function. Since the mask sheet may be bounced off by the baffle after being sent out, the sensor can be properly cushioned a little. It can be adjusted by loosening the screw pad nuts and washers on the back of the baffle to ensure that incoming materials can be detected. By adjusting the guardrail to adapt to the width of the product to limit to ensure that the product can go straight. Loosen the screws on the guardrail board to adjust the position. Ear Cable Introduction of Ear Strap Winding After winding the line in front of all positions, finally fix it with the clamping jaws on the ear belt turntable mechanism. Make the excess part of the clamp stick out just in the middle of the slot, that is, the position where the scissors cut. Ear band machine. Online conveying will convey the mask pieces to number one and number two ear belt machines, respectively, according to the speed distribution. After conveying the mask piece to the discharge opening of the mask machine, the sensor will detect the incoming signal and send a start signal to the mask machine. If the conveying belt gets stuck, check whether the green belt rubs against the left and right side plates. Then loosen the three fixing plates on the left and right side plates and slightly expand the width. Make the belt run without side friction in the middle of the two side plates, leaving a gap of about one to two millimeters. The auxiliary pressing belt on the ear belt machine keeps the tension state. And the bottom of the belt can just touch the mask piece, not completely crushed. In order to ensure that the mask sheet is not taken up from the running position during transportation and welding, nor will it be blown away by the fan at the bottom. This part is the main mechanism of the ear belt machine welding device. When the direction of the entrainment turntable at the bottom is wrong, the correct direction is that the ear strap is cut and the slot is exactly perpendicular to the cutting direction of the scissors. Find the disc on the rotating motor at the top of the mechanism 
there are two open shelters. Loosen the meter at the bottom of the disc and adjust the direction of the turntable at the bottom of the mechanism to correct position. Then directly align one of the opening slots of the disc between the sensing areas of the sensor and lock it. This part is a scissors mechanism for cutting ear wire. From this position, you can loosen the screw to adjust the position of the scissors. This direction is the scissors direction perpendicular to the cutting direction. When it is difficult to pull the strap of the ear strap, the ear strap is stretched to produce obvious elasticity. Check whether the wire on the car's ear strap mechanism has bypassed the pulley in front of the sensor or whether the sensor has failed. Pull the ear strap line by hand to move the pulley up and down and observe whether the light on the sensor flashes. Find another person to observe whether the unwinding indicator in the input monitoring on the man-machine interface flashes. If there is no signal flashing in the indication of the lower limit of discharge, please contact the manufacturer. This is a special mechanism for receiving materials after the production of masks. When the welding head is pressed down and the welding head is not in place, the ear strap line is loosened first. Check whether the control valve switch at the top large cylinder is opened to the maximum. If the regulating valve switch has been opened to the maximum, observe the sensor here. Loosen the sensor, adjust the sensor position a little further and then lock it. Thanks for watching.